we must discuss this Shannon Sharp interview with Ray J. Okay, now what happens when you're the common denominator in all of your problems and your relationships? Because to me, Ray J is a problem and we're going to get into it right about now. I'm Denise Brady. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and watching parts of this interview we've seen so much heard so much about the involvement with the Kardashians but I want to talk a little bit deeper about when you're the problem in your own situation. Okay now we've seen him go back and forth with Princess. We've seen him be an entrepreneur. We've seen him get involved with the Kardashians and we see his relationship be up and down with his sister. Now to me you know, Ray J admitted that he's involved in a lot of things right now that his sister ain't with. Okay. Ray J has some toxic qualities. Okay. I think he's someone who has been involved in some of everything. When you really look at it, Ray J is a common denominator in a lot of these different things. Okay. And so he is involved in things that now has had his relationship with his sister go like this. Okay. And he knows that. And what happens when, in order to protect your peace, you have to distance yourself from your siblings, okay? There is one thing to distance yourself from your parents, from your friends, but your sibling, when your sibling is a problem, when your sibling interrupts your peace. And we've seen them go through so many different things, go from here, back to here, and now they are here again. Not only is that a fact for his relationship, with Brandy, but also his re relationship with Princess, okay? And I'm wondering what is the thing that Ray J has that is problematic in his relations with women, okay? And how his relationship with his mother is probably a big factor in how he sees women, how he interacts with women, because his mom seems very much like um, very strong, at times controlling. And I wonder if Ray J in order to you know, break free of the control. He kind of went buck wild at times in his life. And he has not gotten to a place where he's ready to let that go. Okay. Now, I think he does in a way that's not, you know, just outright where he's in the news. But I think low key, he's involved in different things that obviously his sister is like, I can't be involved in this. You can't come over here. Okay. And Rager to me is making an active decision to choose those things over his relationship with his sister. And we see that now he's trying to start his own network, similar to, you know, some of these other networks, the Zeus. Um, I forgot what his network is actually called, but he's, you know, starting his own thing. And I think some of those things, some of the limelight, some of the business decisions is affecting his relationships. And so it's interesting because I watched it and I'm like, is he drunk? Okay, because he's very calm. But I feel like it wasn't the usual, I don't know, Ray J interviews that you get where he kind of be doing the most that, that we see on The Breakfast Club. But I want to look at how he is a common denominator in a lot of fractured relationships around him. I don't know if he has the best relationship with his mother. Is Princess his ex-wife? Current wife? I'm not sure. His sister? And I think he had an on and off relationship with um, Whitney Houston. And some people question, you know, his involvement in the fact that she's not here anymore. I don't know about all that. Okay. But looking at the common denominator and all his fractured relationships with women in the center is Ray J. And I think you have to look at, okay, what is happening here that you have these fractured relationships with different women in your life. And as a therapist, I want my client to think about what role do I play in that? How do we get here? Okay. That people feel like they want to distance themselves from me, blood, family. And the fact that I'm raising two children who are marrying, I'm a mirror for them. What they see, how they grow up, how they see themselves in the world. And the people I involve myself in, how does that affect the dynamic around me? Those who really care about me. Is my circle hurting my core circle, my family, my kids? But Ray J... I don't think, I'm not sure if he's in a place to really sit down and do some hard therapy and take a look at himself and look at, am I ready to change? Okay. 
what stage of change is he in? Is he in any stage of change? Because it seems like he knows that these business deals, the shenanigans, the parties, the, the lifestyle is coming into play with his female relationships, but he continues to do these things. And do we choose our time money over relationships? Okay, is, is the money worth him continuing to have his relationships dwindle down? And we see him over time being involved in different relationships, little Kim, Kim Kardashian, a lot of them people that we know, them stars he's been involved with. But at one, what point as a man do you recognize maybe it's time for me to settle down? Maybe it's time for me to pull back. But because I think he might have grown up in a very controlled environment, he didn't ha not have the, I don't know, regulation of like, there's a balance in those things. Find the balance. But instead, just like, I'm all over the place. I'm going to do me. Okay? Princess, you going to get in line? Are you going to go? And they go back and forth. Okay? One minute they don't get a divorce. One minute they not. He was with her at the poker thing a couple months ago when she won the, the poker tournament. And that should have got a lot more attention because you really don't see women, women of color winning poker tournaments. But he was there. You're doing good, sweetie. But then now, where are they? Once again, the same place. And I think each individual in that relationship in their marriage has to look at the role that they play in both of these parts. When it, but when it comes to Ray J, to me, looking from the outside, Ray J might be the problem. And there's a part of me that, that thinks that he knows that, but he's not ready to sit with himself, dig deeper, go into, you know, what is it about me that all these women around me don't want to be involved in me that I have fractured relationships looking at that family tree. Okay. And look at the branches starting to fall off, crumble, dry up. But oftentimes men continue to use distractions, people in general, but I think men at times can use physical attraction, physical intimacy as a distraction from sitting with themselves and doing the hard work. And there's still a lot of stigma with men in therapy, talking about their feelings, being vulnerable. I think in some ways people find Club Shay Shay as a space to be vulnerable and talk about issues. But still, once you leave there, cause it's not therapy y'all. It's a conversation, a good place to have some drinks and conversate and bring things up to the surface. And men do feel comfortable being vulnerable there. But what happens once the camera is off? What's the work that you're doing after that? Okay. Cause I think Ray J has a lot of, you know, disconnected relationships. And I'm wondering what is the core belief that he has about himself that projects onto the world affects how he has relationships that his relationships are not successful. His businesses to a point have been successful. He's made a lot of money and then he think he sold Raycon, all that stuff, but I think people don't recognize how your trauma, how you see yourself, even though you think you have a, a, a good hold over your trauma that you're in control of your trauma, you're not. Your, your trauma is in control of you. And I'm hoping that, you know, he can get it to a point where he sits with himself, be he's, he's present, less distraction, the alcohol, the girls, the lifestyle, the, the, the PJs all those things, the salacious stuff that he's getting more and more involved in, he can put that to the side and focus on me. What do I need? Focusing on myself. But since he's been involved in this lifestyle for so long, I really don't know, you know, if that's really possible. It seems like from the interview, he's going more into that world of dollars, the salaciousness, um, all of that stuff, the Zeus network, similar, similar things, the chaos, the drama, the reality shows, that's where the money is y'all. And sometimes people choose money over morals and ethics. And I think Ray J is one of those people. Now, this is just a little segment of what I watch, what I want to focus on from the interview and how men in general struggle to be vulnerable look at themselves and people in general continue to use distractions to, I don't want to, I'm not ready yet. It's too hard. 
this is so easy. The girls, the money, the PJs, all that's a lot easier than sitting with myself and doing the harder work. But what do you guys think of Brandy and Ray J's relationship? She's protecting her peace. And sometimes that means I gotta let go of people, places, and things. And one of those things might be your siblings. Can you relate to sometimes having to protect your peace by distancing yourself from your siblings? Let me know in the comments, because of course, your girl can't get into it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. And I will see you next time. Bye.